Alrighty, welcome. Today we're playing Little Nemo, the Dream Maesta. Okay, let's go ahead and hit start. I do think it's cool that the, um, the little indicator thingy, the pointer, is a bed. Okay, here we go. Um, Dream 1, Mushroom Forest. Okay. Uh, this game does have a story, but I don't know. It's not really important. Uh, hey, little boy, what are you doing here? This place is too dangerous for little boys, but if you've got mindset on staying here, I should tell you a secret. Many of the creatures here will give you a ride if you feed them candy. You can ride for as long as you like or select the stop. Also, many doors are locked. You will need to collect a different key for each lock in order to get through. Okay. By the way, my name is Flip. All right. But uh, this game hooks you, like, right from the start. Like, that title screen, that's, like, a good-looking title screen. Like, I, like it makes you, like, dig it, like, right away. And then, plus, like, you start the game, you immediately see these, like, cool-looking mushrooms. Like, what kid would not like this, you know? But, um... It does do the thing, which is actually kind of weird. That, um... Where, like, the, uh, what do you call it? The, um... The graphics go to, like, the edge of the screen. Like, at the title screen, but then once you play... Then there's, like, a section on the left side that's, like, cut off. So, I don't know, like, why they do that. Like, why can't they have, like, the edge be the same? Oh my gosh, I'm already dead. Cool. Um, yeah, so, like, the left edge of the screen, there's, like, a black bar. But then at the title screen, that's, like, filled in. So, why do they do that? I don't know. Man, we're actually gonna have to, like, be careful. Uh, I have played this all the way through one time. Uh, but that was when I was like, I don't know, 10 or 11 or 12 or something like that. So, something like 30 years ago. Uh, I played it one time as an adult. And I got to the uh, the third level. The one with the, uh, the train. And I made it a few sections in. But there was like a part, I don't remember what it was. It was still like a long time ago. There was this part that I couldn't freaking, uh, wait, why can't I fit inside there? But, uh, I, like, freaking, like, got stuck. And, uh, I was like, wow, I'm, like, actually, like, stuck. I'm, like, stuck, stuck. Like, what the heck? And, I mean, I could have, like, pushed through, but, you know, after, like, 15 minutes or so, I was just like, ah, oh, let's play something else. And I never went back. So even though this is not blind... It's like the next best thing, because I'm, I'm like not familiar with the game at all. I remember this first level. Like I remember like the scenery of this first level, and I remember this like digging part. And I remember the, uh, one of the levels is like an upside down level, and there's like a train level, but I don't remember the second level. I'm pretty sure the, uh, the train level is the third level, I think, right? But uh, I also have not watched, like, I, it's kind of funny. I watched so many Let's Plays that in addition to uh, saying how much I've played it or whether or not I've played it, I also have to say how many Let's Plays of it I've watched. Uh, I've watched uh, zero Let's Plays of this. Just because that kind of counts as, like, experience if you, like, you know, experience the game, you know? Because there are games that I've played, like, once, but then I've watched, like like, Let's Plays of, you know, so that, like, kind of counts as, like, in terms of, like, being familiar with the game. I'm pretty sure this takes you, like, to an underground area, I think, right? You go, like, deeper underground, I think, right? It's not death. Okay. Okay, that I vaguely remembered. Oh my gosh, I can't jump. There's no jumping. Also, it doesn't look like I'm riding on the guy. Oh yeah, I remember thinking this guy was like kind of weird. Your uh, your guy uh, becomes like smaller. Okay, so what does this uh, guy do besides walk around with his eyes closed? I don't remember what this guy's talent was. I know uh, there is like a flying guy. Oh wait, this is probably the swimmy boy, right? Oh, wait, the other guy was the... Oh, this is the wall climbing guy. Okay. So I guess you had to go down there. Uh... What did that do? Okay, so we got like jumpy, swimmy guy, wall climbing guy, diggy guy. 
gosh. Oh my gosh, I couldn't jump high enough, man. I, like... I guess I could have jumped uh, back to the left, but, like, I didn't want to. But, uh, it turns out I should have. Oh, so, yeah, this game is not blind, but, uh... Like I said, it's, like, the next best thing. So, like, I'm sitting here going, like, there should be, like, a word for that. Because there are viewers that, like... The blind let's plays or the not blind let's plays. So so even though I'm not calling this blind, it essentially is blind. Like people that like oh god damn it, that is a death down there. People that blind uh, that like blind let's plays that would want to watch a blind let's play of this could watch this one. Even though it's not technically blind, it's blind enough, you know. I mean, right? I mean, I mean, if you, like, have no memory of it, then it's pretty much blind then, right? Okay, so, um, when I played this as a kid, I just, like, played it all the way through. I don't remember having, like, much trouble with it. But I also... I'm aware that, uh... Oh, you can jump on the guys. Oh, and the last key is up there. Alright. I do know that at the end of the level, there's just a bunch of locks, and you have to have enough keys to, uh... to open all the locks. I'm pretty sure you need every single key, right? Like, there's not, like, extra keys. It's not like get six out of the eight keys. You have to get, like, all of them, I think, right? Yeah, there we go. Alright, first level down. Piece of cake. Jeepers. Okay, well, I died a few times, but, um, but, uh, hopefully I'll get, like, better.